Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. I just wanted to jump on and film a quick introduction because I thought you might be a little bit confused. The title of this is June Favourites. However, it is of course the end of July. July favourites are still coming as well, so don't worry, I've got two months favourites at the end of this one month because I went on holiday at the end of June, start of July, and before I went I filmed my June favourites, but unfortunately I was having massive editing issues, I just didn't have a chance to edit properly before I left. And by the time I got back from holiday it just seemed so silly to upload like towards the end of July. So I figured that this month and hopefully it won't happen again, but this month I will upload June and July favourites at the same time, which I hope you'll forgive me for, um, but I hope that you like them nonetheless. I don't think there's any products in there that were particularly time appropriate to June, so I hope that this is still helpful and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for understanding and I will see you all soon. Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. It's time for my June favourites. And after not having very many favourites in the May favourites, I've got a ton of favourites to share with you this month. I've got some fragrance, body care, skin care, makeup, non-beauty favourites as well. So I'm going to jump right in. I've been really into candles this last month, which may seem unusual given that we're in summer now. But nonetheless, I've been burning lots of candles. I've really enjoyed this Neil's Yard Remedies Energizing Aromatherapy Candle. I love the design on the glass jar. Um, this just has a really wonderful energising fragrance, as the name suggests. I don't really go hugely in for citrus fragrances, but although this has got orange and grapefruit, it's also got clove and mint, so it makes for a very sophisticated fragrance, and I really like this. It's a beeswax and botanical wax candle, so I don't have any concerns about breathing in any nasties that you get with paraffin wax candles, and despite having burnt quite a bit of it, I did find that it was really slow burning and it burned evenly and without lots of black smoke. So really, really enjoyed this. Another natural candle that I've been enjoying is the Cowshed Moody Cow Candle. I love Cowshed. I love how their names are really quirky and a bit fun. Um, this one didn't burn quite so evenly, as you can probably see. Again, it's got a really pretty pattern on the glass jar. So it looks really nice when it's burning. And I do feel that this really helps me to unwind, whether it be psychological or not. Not quite so natural, but a couple of other candles that I've been enjoying and certainly more affordable are by Yankee Candle. Um, there's a couple that I've been enjoying. There's the Black Coconut, which is a nice sort of warm summery fragrance, and I like that it's got black wax in it. Now I have found that these burn really quite quickly, but I was impressed that they still give a really good room filling fragrance. That's one of the things that I always look for when I'm trying out candles. They burn evenly but quickly, as I said, but at about £9.99 each, and they're always on offer. Um, I don't really mind that so much. Black coconut is interesting because it's not sort of your typical sickly synthetic coconut fragrance. It's got a little bit more depth to it. Almost like a bit of a vanilla to it that keeps it nice and warm. And I really like that they've got lids as well because I hate when candles get dusty inside. And the other one is a really gorgeous floral called White Gardenia. But I always think of Kelsey from Kelsey R2, whose channel I'll link below, um, when I burn this because I know that she would hate it. But... I really like it and I love that this is how my house has been smelling recently. Really fresh and floral and it really is a true gardenia scent so definitely check this out if you're into that. Moving on now to body care products. Um, I mentioned that I was enjoying candles a lot this month. I don't know if that's because I've been a bit stressed um, but one of the products that's really been helping me to unwind is the Clarins body treatment oil in the scent Relax. This is a very thick oil, you can really feel it on your skin, so I don't really like that aspect quite so much. Um, you know, it feels almost sticky on the skin because it's so rich and it doesn't really absorb, but nonetheless, this works so well. Whenever I use this, I have such a fantastic night's sleep, so I really do recommend it if you struggle. I mean, I really like Clarins products. I think that they're ingredients are always really good quality and yet they're still fairly affordable okay they're more expensive than a drugstore one but you know for the quality of the ingredients you get I really like them and I think they're worth the money so I definitely recommend this if you struggle to sleep or unwind. A drugstore favourite for a body that I've been enjoying is the Seven Glory Whipped Clean and this is actually a repurchase already I have found that I've been going through this really quickly what this is, is it's a shower butter, and I first picked this up because you may recall that I really love the Rose um, Argan Body Conditioner from Lush, but that's a pretty pricey product. It's around £15, and you don't get too much product in there. I think you get a 
bit less than you get in this. This is less than half the price. It's got cocoa and shea butters, grapeseed, sweet almond, macadamia nut oils, and it has a pistachio almond and sweet vanilla scent, so it smells fantastic. I don't really find that the scent lingers on the skin, but you just use this in the shower, and it leaves your skin so wonderfully conditioned that you don't need to moisturize once you get out of the shower, which is great for lazy girls like me. So I've been using this every morning. I tend to use it in the morning just because I'm in more of a hurry then, whereas at night I will you know, take the time to moisturize or use an oil such as this. But I love this for convenience. I like the functional chew packaging. I like the scent. I think there's a bit of a trend for these shower body conditioners. I know Nivea have recently launched one, which is even cheaper again than this. Um, so I think it's certainly a product that I think more and more brands are going to be bringing out. I've discovered some new skincare favorites this month, and I will be doing an updated skincare routine as well. A couple of people have requested that, and I've been meaning to do it anyway, because my skincare routine has changed a little bit. Not dramatically, I'm still using an oil cleanser, for example. Um, one of the products that I am using that I'm really enjoying, and this has actually replaced Bioderma for me, weirdly, just as Bioderma becomes available in the UK. Um, this is the This Works Clean Skin 5-in-1 Water. It's a rose water cleanser to remove makeup, decongest, and brighten. Absolutely hate the packaging. I think it's unnecessarily bulky. I don't like that it's not transparent, so I've got no idea how much is remaining. Um, and I find that although I like that it's got a pump dispenser, it's quite difficult to control this. It sort of squirts out in a really unexpected direction. So I've found I've had a little bit of wastage. If you're not familiar with cleansing waters, you just pop this on a cotton pad, swipe it all over your face, and it removes your makeup. I wouldn't recommend using a cleansing water every night, but what I do recommend these for is a quick and easy alternative to cleansing wipes when you're a little bit tired or worse for wear and don't want to sort of take your makeup off with a thorough oil cleanse. Um, these are really great. I love this. I prefer this to Bioderma because I find that it just adds a little something extra to my skin and leaves it feeling really nourished and cared for. It's really great for sensitive skin as well because it's got that rose water in it. I do think this is more expensive, I do believe this is more expensive than Bioderma, but definitely one worth checking out. And it's nice and natural as well. So really, really like this. Talking of oil cleansers, I've been using the Alpha H Age Delay Cleansing Oil with Rosehip and Tangerine. I like that this is in a tube because although I really like the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm, I hate the packaging, and I've said that time and time again, as many bloggers have. I don't think that this is a very good name for this product, because it's no, no way is this a cleansing oil. It's an oil-based cleansing balm. So it just looks like this. It has a really wonderful sort of orangey fragrance. I love it. Um, I love the functional tube packaging, as I said. This is good for mature, dehydrated, and delicate skin. It's just a really good balm cleanser. And I know a lot of people talk about liquid gold from Alpha H, but I haven't heard too much hype about this. So I wanted to include it because I have been impressed. Um, I'm probably going to write a full review of this in due course on my blog. I haven't done yet, but keep an eye out for that if you're interested. More of a treatment product now, and that is the LMS Papaya Enzyme Peel. I've got the sort of limited edition packaging that they did to celebrate the 10 year anniversary, I believe it was. Yeah. Don't be alarmed that this is called a peel. It's a nice sort of chemical, not a physical exfoliator. You just pop it on as you would a mask, leave it on for, say, 10 minutes, and then remove it with lukewarm water. Um, I was quite surprised when I first tried this that it is a cream formula. I thought it was going to be a gel. Um, I thought it was going to be a gel that you would peel off almost like a mask, but it smells fantastic, and I don't even like papaya. I was really impressed with how quickly I could see a brightening effect to my skin. You know, all exfoliators are going to leave your skin looking better, but I'm really impressed with this. I really, really like it. I was thinking of doing an Elemis Hits and Misses video. Elemis is one of my favorite British brands. I really, really like their products. Um, and this is definitely a hit from that video. So if you are interested in seeing it, then there's a little preview for you. Let me know if you'd like to know more. My last skincare favorite is another Clarins product, and this is one which I got towards the end of the month, so I haven't really been using it for quite so long, but I've been blown away by the results already. And this is the Clarins Gentle Exfoliator. Now this is like a toner, um, it's a liquid. Apply it onto a cotton pad and sweep it over your face after cleansing. This is fantastic. Um, Caroline Hurons goes on about this quite a lot, so a lot of bloggers are really into it, and it's, you know, I had high expectations, and it hasn't disappointed. It's a brightening toner with tamarind and white nettle, and it really does leave your skin looking fantastic. You know, the 
not only does your skin look better, like visibly brighter and more glowing, but it also improves the texture of your skin and the feel of your skin as well. I really, really like this. The only thing I will say is that it's very easy to get addicted to this. Don't overdo it. I've been using this like twice a week max, especially this time of year, because it is quite strong. It's an alpha hydroxy acid. That's how it works to sort of remove the dead skin cells um, in place of a physical exfoliant where you would have little granules of something. So because of that, it's going to make you a little bit more sensitive to the sun, especially this time of year. You really want to be careful with how often you use this if you have sensitive skin. And also you just want to make sure you're using a sunscreen with it as well. I use sunscreen every day, but still, I have sensitive skin, so I don't want to overdo it on this. The only thing I don't like about this is that it contains an alcohol, which can be drying to the skin, but I can kind of live with that in this product because the alcohol helps the acids to sort of penetrate into the skin even deeper, and it really is an effective product. So I really, really like this. Definitely worth the hype, and I would recommend it. Really love Clarins, as I've said. Now, of course, June was the month of IMATS here in the UK. I attended and I had a fantastic time. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to link my IMATS haul video below, which also includes a bit of a vlog as well. Loved IMATS, really loved meeting everybody, did a lot of shopping. I'm a little bit worried about getting my credit card bill at the end of the month, but it was well worth it. The other highlight of June for me was without a doubt visiting Charlotte Tilbury's pop-up shop in Selfridges and that was her makeup house of rock and coal. She was so, so cool. I met her, had a wonderful time. I was probably a lot less cool. I got a little bit starstruck. I've followed Charlotte's career for about, like, I can't even remember, since I was a teenager. Um, I bought one of her bags, which goes to charity, um, and I got her to sign it to me as well, so I certainly won't be using this makeup bag. I love the quotes. It says, every woman deserves a man to ruin her lipstick, not her mascara. Um, and then she wrote a little personal message to me as well, which was really special. I love this. I'm going to treasure this. I had my makeup done, which was fantastic. I didn't even want to take it off, even though, you know, I'm really into skincare. And I always say, remove your makeup at the end of the night, no matter how tired or drunk you are. This was one occasion when I was like, I really don't want to take it off. I attended one of the talks with Nicola Formicelli, from, um, who's creative director of Thierry Mugler. And... She was fab. The whole setup was done so well. I was really, really impressed. And I cannot wait for her to launch her own range in September. And she was so sweet and down to earth, really took the time to speak to everybody, made everyone feel special. So I really, really hope that her launch is successful. And I'm sure it will be. I mean, she collaborated on the Tom Ford makeup line, which I adore. So I'm sure it will be fantastic. I believe it's going to be a little bit of a cheaper price point. I think it's going to be around Bobby Brown prices. Talking of makeup, I've got three makeup favourites this month. I said I've got a lot of favourites this month. I've got the Almay One Coat Get Up and Grow Mascara, which I'm wearing on my lashes at the moment. I really like this. It does smudge a little bit towards the end of the day. It's got a natural bristle brush. It's got a very slight hourglass shape. And I can't say that I've noticed that my lashes are growing necessarily. I believe it's got some sort of um, vitamins in there to help lashes to encourage lash growth. I just really like that this gives a nice sort of fluttery lash effect, very feminine, which is what I go for. It volumizes, a little bit of length, but just gives a nice defined look, very feminine. A great drugstore mascara. Unfortunately, I don't believe this is available in the UK. I posted a photo on Instagram of my makeup on a night out, and I will be doing a tutorial of this in due course, but I wanted to mention the lip combination that I was wearing in that, and I will link my Instagram below. If you're not already following me on there, then please do, because I post a lot of makeup photos, as well as some food and cat photos as well. I wore a red lip combination for my friend's hen party, or bachelorette party, I wore NARS Dragon Girl. This is a velvet matte lip pencil. I really love NARS. Um, this is a sort of cherry red. So I wore that with the Rimmel Apocalypse, or these are called show-off glosses in the US. I chose the shade Big Bang, which is their bright, glossy red. I mean, this really packs a punch. You do need to be careful not to get this on your teeth. I struggled a bit with that on my night out, so definitely take a mirror with you if you're wearing this on a night out. Doe foot applicator, and look at that, I've literally just done that once, and it's such a strong pigmented colour. I mean, I wouldn't really call these a lip gloss, I would definitely call them a liquid lipstick, 
Um, I'm going to swatch a bit over Dragon Girl as well so you can see them together. So there. These are so affordable. I definitely want to pick up some more shades. And they remind me a little bit of the Bare Minerals Pretty Amazing lipsticks as well. So um, I can't recommend these highly enough. I really was impressed. I love the pigment. And I believe they do have a scent. Let me just remind myself. I think it's like watermelon. Yeah, it's like a watermelon scent. Nothing sort of unbearable. Nothing to write home about either, but um, just worth noting. Lastly, I have a non-beauty favourite, and again, it is a book. This is the 100-year-old man who climbed out the window and disappeared. Um, I thought this was a really cute story. It's all about this 100-year-old man. Tries to escape his 100th birthday and gets into all sorts of mischief. And it's also flashing back throughout his life, which is all interlinked with key events in the 20th century. So I thought this was a really cute book. I zoomed through it. It was pretty easy to read. Um, but pretty good for a holiday. Maybe if you're going away this summer, I'd recommend it. As always, when I mention a book, I will copy out the synopsis on the back and write that in the info bar below for you, along with all the information about the products that I mentioned in today's video. I normally mention what I'm wearing on my nails, but I won't today because I'm giving them a rest. They're all broken and are in terrible condition, so please don't judge me. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your June favourites have been, or if you've tried any of these products. If you've enjoyed this and you're not already subscribed, then please do so, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great July. Bye.